female convict, domestic violence survivor, a former inmate turned criminal justice advocate, is trying to keep others from suffering her fate. She is one of several women News Channel 15's Tara Brantley will talk with as she begins a special series of reports. Tonight, hear from Kemba Smith, a woman who was battered but not broken. I was only on this earth 23 years and I was sentenced to 24 and a half years in federal prison. The only child of a middle-class family, Kimba Smith graduated from high school and went on to pursue a degree in social work. I simply fell in love with the, the wrong guy while I was a student in college. That wrong guy was the leader of a $4 million crack cocaine ring. And in the early 1990s, one of the FBI's most wanted. Kimba handled his money. I had talked to some bounty hunters and he was asking me what it was that I had said during the conversation and I could not recollect everything that I had said and that angered him and so he began um, beating me in my body and um, kicking me. There was a particular time where I did try to leave um, but I think ultimately um, because of the dynamics of the conspiracy, the drug conspiracy, he had been to my parents home, um, he had killed his best friend because he thought his best friend had cooperated with the authorities. Um, it became a point where the authorities wanted me to give them him on a silver platter. And ultimately, I just felt like a robot, like I had to do whatever it was that he told me to do in order to protect myself and in order to protect my family. Kimba's boyfriend was found murdered, a suspect never arrested. At seven months pregnant, she turned herself in and pleaded guilty to conspiracy, money laundering, and lying to authorities. Her sentence, 24 and a half years with no chance of parole. In prison, Kimba gave birth as her family and civil rights groups fought for her release, saying she was a battered woman forced into being a drug mule for drugs she had never sold, used, or handled. I do think that there should have been some punishment. Um, I'm not one of those people that have had the prison experience that says, oh, I didn't do anything wrong or, oh, it was all his fault. Um, I do believe the 24 and a half years was um, excessive. Kimba's story got national attention, and after serving six and a half years, then-President Bill Clinton gave her clemency, setting her free on December 22, 2000. National organizations, congressional members, people rallied behind my case and my cause because they thought it would set a precedent for other individuals who were similar. And it did. Her involvement with lawmakers in several states fueled a re-examination of lengthy prison sentences for first-time nonviolent drug offenders. And in 2010, President Obama passed the Fair Sentencing Act, which now limits the length of those sentences. There are hundreds of other Kimba Smiths who are still currently incarcerated in the federal system who deserve an opportunity to come home to and basically it's just a matter of loving yourself more and understanding that you deserve better you don't deserve to be in a situation where you know you're hurting you're fearful that's not what love's about production on a movie about Kemba's life will begin in the fall next month she'll be in Fort Wayne for a weekend of speaking engagements on Friday June 3rd she'll speak at the Anthos Career Center at 12:30, and Sunday June 5th she'll give a presentation at Imani Baptist Temple at 9:30 a.m.